What are some truths some parents refuse to accept? If you judge your children too much they will learn to hide things from you. That their children are dickheads. Oh no, my James would never do something like that. Well he did, and he's a prick. Edit. Thanks for the awards. Their children have their own hopes and dreams, their own beliefs. A very good friend is leading an entirely second life to keep her mother from controlling her or belittling her decisions. It's very stressful to not encourage their children to find themselves. If your kid needs help, speech therapy, tutoring, medication, occupational therapy, ECT, it is not a reflection on you personally. Sometimes kids struggle. That's okay. Making sure your kid has all the tools they need to succeed is your responsibility as a parent. Your oldest child is not your younger children's parent. Above all else, you should be the safest person for your child. You should make it safe for them to be themselves. You should make it safe for them to have bad days or bad emotions. You should make it safe for them to exist. Because if you don't make it safe for them when they're a kid, it's really hard for them to find safety in themselves as an adult. There's a time when you need to let your kids make mistakes, so they can learn from them. Life is pretty short, so if they have a goal, let them go for it. That you don't get to relive your life through them. You as a parent are responsible for teaching your kids proper manners and common decency. Not their teachers, tutors, babysitters, etc. I briefly worked as a Japanese teacher and I was surprised at how little some of these parents were involved in their kids' lives and expected me to address all their problems during the short few hours I had them for the week. Your child's mental health doesn't care about your worries of looking like a bad parent if you get them help. It will continue to get worse the longer you neglect them. Spoiling your kid too much can leave them really unprepared for the real world. They can end up really useless, or a complete asshole who genuinely thinks the world revolves around them. At some point you need to teach them they aren't king, queen of the world, they need to fend for themselves eventually. You can be a good person your entire life, and still have a shitty life. This is probably the most depressing. Apologizing won't kill you. It's better to be respected than feared. Your kids can have different opinions than you. You can be a parent and a friend. That some kids can't help them with some of their struggles, hardships. And that some kids have depression and it may not be a phase. The older your children get, the more autonomy you need to grant them. The fact that just ignore the bullies isn't going to work. That there comes a point where your kids grow up and you will start to see them as peers, sharing stories that are vulnerable, asking for advice. But once you do that, you're not the boss of them anymore. You can't talk about your bad sex life with your adult kid while also ripping on him for not finishing college or whatever. That when kids grow up, they will enjoy spending time with you if you treat them like a friend. They will not enjoy spending time with you if you continue to act like an authority figure or someone who knows better. That sometimes their kids have valid opinions and instead of interrupting them and pulling the, because I said so, and, that's just how it is, cards, they could listen to their child and make them feel heard instead of suppressed. That if you abused your kids you abused in person shrugging you can't go back and say, oh I don't remember doing that. It wasn't that bad. To a traumatic memory your child, grown or not, has brought back up because that memory never fucking left them. That your children may turn out completely different to you different interests, different hobbies, different ideologies, different religions. Don't get pissy at your kid because he likes reading instead of football. That no amount of yelling or punishment will make a child with ADHD into a better student. Your kid doesn't ever really belong to you. They are just another human who has their own life. You're just responsible for helping them figure out life. Some parents need to accept that a whole day of shopping with the little kid isn't realistic, and that instead, you just need to do what you can and take them home if they're screaming and crying, especially if they're little. Little kids especially have a limit. They won't be able to handle a full day of shopping for a while. Don't push the kid to the point of screeching, screaming, and crying and expect him to continue. It makes them, you and everybody else miserable. Too long did not read. Just take your kid home when they're tired that their kids are little shits and not angels. We don't owe them grandchildren. That when you abuse your children, you can't give their life back. They will know you for taking away their childhood. Hold up, this is one of my first posts, and it somehow has roughly 600 upvotes and a silver award, only after 4 hours after posting it. Thanks guys. Wait what another silver award and a bunch more UPVOTES thanks. Many can't accept that the younger generations have learned how to do things better than they did. 
You are not raising children, you're raising adults. If it wouldn't be cute as an adult, don't let them do it as a kid. Joy is important though, take time to revel in joy with your kids. The fresh eyes they see the world can hard reset your jaded cynicism. An easy way to get your child to start lying to you is by accusing them of lying when your kid is telling you the truth. Kid. Says something that is true. Parent. Stop lying. Kid. Repeats the same true statement. Parent. I told you to stop lying. Kid. Now tells a lie the parent wants to hear. Parent. There, doesn't it feel good to tell the truth? However, since you were lying earlier, I am going to punish you. Your kid is pretty average, and not that endearing. Not every baby is cute. Some look like gargoyles and aliens. Your words hurt. If I finally hurt you with words one time, then take a wild guess who I learned that from. That piece of entertainment is not going to change your child into a criminal. That it's their responsibility to raise the child, as they decided to have them and have to accept the things you need to do to properly raise them. It's not the child's fault that they are there, they didn't have a choice. The parents did. Just because you, did your best, does not mean it wasn't still bad and or a traumatic childhood. Source. 26 years, oh with a mom that hates I go to therapy because she, did her best. Your, lovable little scamp, is someone else's, evil little shit. Your children are going to grow up one day. They're not gonna be your little angels forever. That they are the ones who demanded participation trophies, not their kids. They just don't want anyone else's kid to get one. Respect is earned, not demanded. They don't know their kids as well as they think they do. You can't make us good by hitting us. There is no obligation your kids love you just because you are their parent. That giving them attention is actually good for them and not bad. Kids need affection and to be shown they are important and that does not mean they are being spoiled. I didn't ask to be born. So stop acting like I should be grateful for life. That having intelligent children does not mean they are obligated to use that intelligence if it doesn't make them happy. Hitting your kids is domestic abuse. That thing aren't the same as they were when they grew up. I'm so tired of explaining to my boomer parents that I'm not wasting my money on a luxury apartment, 1,800 per month is the new norm for where I live. I have an average apartment and am paying average rent. They somehow don't realize that rent is no longer $600 per month. Your kids don't owe you anything, they didn't ask to be here and lauding. I fed you, clothed you, put a roof over your head. Every time you want something your way is a sure way to end up alone in your old age. Also when they grow up and get in relationships it's not your baby anymore. You don't have the right to harass, vet their partner, stay out of the way and mind your own business. Having kids does not guarantee that they will take care of you when you get older.